Hi, Lorraine here from JDOS Agency. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the SEO, the search ending optimization of your blog post created using system EIO. This is the third video in the blog series. So check out the other videos in the relevant playlist. So let's get to it. Okay, so I thought to start with this article that I saw on how to optimize blog content for search endings. We're going to go through each of the points and we're going to see how system EIO or how you can implement it in system EIO. Now, some of the points is entirely up to yourself to implement and some of it is system EIO being able to support you to implement these points. Okay, so the first one, identify the target audience for your blog. System EIO cannot do that. You are the one to do that as the blog post author. All right. The second one, conduct keyword research. Again, System EIO cannot do that. You are the one to do that, to conduct keyword research for your blog post. Having said that, there are useful sites that can help you with that example of that is answer the public.com so you put in your keyword i've put in here blogging for example hit search and then it comes up with uh, topics that people are asking about and it's very useful to help with your keyword research so that's that point as number three add visuals now we're talking system eio can definitely help support that so let's have a look at system e and how so we are here in system eio and these are the default blog posts when you create a new blog that system eio creates so in our post layout so the layout of the post will determine the layout of each new post created within the blog and one of the things we're looking at is adding visuals you can definitely add different visuals to your blog post okay so in this case we've said we're adding images we are and this is the layout at the side here we have the author information about the author and the different social media icons we've got ctas on here we've got our header we've got our footer in fact let's have a look at an example of a blog post okay all right so that, so that's what the article is saying or that point is saying add visuals to your blog posts images ctas basically that and to do that on system you use the different elements within it okay so for example images and it's really a drag and drop system very easy to use so you drag your image element on here yeah and then you can select your image file and what you want to happen when the or the action you want to happen when the image is clicked on okay and then for your ctas again a real drag and drop that's your button over here and there you go okay and these are the different things you can add video files audio carousel so these are the visuals you can add to your blog post to help improve the cta all right, let's go to the next point. Write a catchy title. Again, System EIO cannot help you with coming up with a title, but the title of the post indeed can be within System EIO. In fact, for the blog post, what you need to do in terms of SEO is go into, for, that, for every blog post, go into settings and in the SEO section, within setting is where you put your catchy title that the article mentioned and then the description this is what some people also refer to as the meta description so based on the keyword research you've done you put in the description over here again based on the keyword research you've done you put in the keywords within this field separated by commas okay and then the author of the blog post if you want to and then the social image so when the blog post is shared the image to be shown when the blog post is shared all right and then this is the crucial bit do you want to hide that blog post from search engines but seeing that we're talking about improving seo the answer should be no so what you do is untick that checkbox okay so the article goes write a catchy title it's in this section that you do that so you write your catchy title the description keywords author social image and then untick this because we do not want to hide the blog post from the search engines 
all right cool okay so speaking of catchy titles this is another useful website to be able to generate awesome titles for your blog posts so title-generator.com so just put in your main keyword so for example let's say I put blogging tips get headlines and then you can see at the bottom here wonderful headlines that you can use for your post okay let's start to share that next point right. Include an enticing CTA. I've just showed you how to add CTAs to your blogs. Okay, just a matter of selecting the CTA, drag and drop. Very easy to use. Web builder uh, system EIO, definitely. All right. So next one, focus on reader's experience. I think this is article is all about the layout of the blog post. Okay, so in terms of paragraphs, in terms of your headings, in terms of making the reader reading your blog post have a good experience and basically within your post layout is where you put in the structure of the post and every post within your post layout will have that structure okay so when you're designing your post layout you should bear that in mind you want the, your reader to have a good experience when reading your post okay all right and then we go here on page factors we use one to two long tail keywords we talked about keyword research use keywords strategically throughout the blog posts so when you are putting your text elements within the blog post to use your keywords or your relevant keywords within the blog post okay title tag okay so we've talked about your title where to, where to put in your catchy title and then your relevant text as well okay using the relevant texts elements okay a friendly url and we do that you put in the url of your blog post by going into the post setting for that particular post okay so that's your title your description and this is the url path okay so a, a, a good again this is based on your keyword research but within system this is where to put in the url path okay and this is where to put the image if it is when it is shown maybe in the search engine results it's the relevant image that will show and this is the category of the post okay I've talked about meta description optimize for mobile devices that's a beautiful point so within system it also has this is the desktop view it has the mobile view so as you are designing you also have to think about the mobile view as well so there's a school of thought around mobile first you know, design a mobile view first and then you, before you think about the desktop view but this is so easy within system to to toggle between those two views and to design it for the, the, the relevant devices okay cool all right optimize the meta description we just talked about it and include all texts or image all texts beautiful let's go back to the desktop view so for images within system there is a relevant field talking about all text i think there's a guide about all text here it's talking about all text is really text that help explain and support the images within your blog post i don't know what this place is but let's say this was the great wall of china so in this field we just put here the great wall of china for example okay so this is one way that system can support the implementation of all text for your images on your blog post all right and so another point limit topic tags and include user-friendly url structures we just talked about that link to related posts so within system for your text elements you can include these as links it's just a matter of selecting it select these just put that close there select the relevant text you want to include as a link select this button there and then you can either type in the url right so if we say well, this is a, another post we want to send it to agency.com okay you can also send it to another link or another blog post so you're going to talk about backlink so select that and then you can select if you want it to link out to a page within the blog 
want to link out to a category and want to link out to a particular blog post okay so let's see that one all right and then you can notice that you can't really tell if this is the link so you just have changed the color the relevant color okay there you go all right beautiful okay and the last one review metrics regularly okay so the point of review metrics regularly so this is actually simple terms registering your blog with google so that you see or analyze or review the traffic to your blog one of the good ways to tell google that your blog exists is by submitting a sitemap and you can system ei will generate sitemaps for your blog and the format is your blog url slash sitemap.xml so blog url slash sitemap.xml so if you have connected a custom domain to your blog so for example jdos agency Dot com the sitemap will be jadosagency.com slash sitemap.xml and you can submit that to Google to get it registered. Okay, yeah, submit it to Google. And one of the things they've said about again improving your SEO for your blog post is to publish blog posts frequently. For system you can generate or create unlimited blog posts even on the free plan. All right. Let's see what's less organized by topic cluster. I'm guessing this is around categorizing or arranging your blog posts to make sense, really. And within system, you get a chance to create categories. Again, you can create as much categories as you can and allocate your posts to one or more categories. You can do that when you go to the particular blog post and select the category you want the blog post to be so one or more so this blog post can belong to one or more categories okay so again it's up to you to know how to structure your blogs and your blog posts with relevant categories the system can support you in that you can create many categories and allocate the particular blog post to one or more categories okay and i think that's it oh there's more Publish evergreen content. <laughs> I think it echoes the fact that you can do that with system because you can publish unlimited blog posts and update existing content. Yep, you can go back into system. You can go back into your existing content and make changes that you want. Make updates to it, relevant updates to it accordingly. You can do that at any time within system EIO. Okay. And that's it. So in this video, I have shown you how to improve the SEO of your blog content created within System EIO. So watch the next video if you want to know how to create a blog with relevant blog posts, step-by-step -step guide using System EIO. Check out this video. All right then. Thanks for watching. Bye.